Hey, good morning, Wingman Merch Crew. Um, I know it's a little odd to see me on Monday rather than Thursday, right? But I miss Thursday. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. And Stephen, yes, you can count that down as number one. I said I was sorry on this one. <laughs> I There's two things, and it actually has a lot to do with what I'm talking about today is balance. Um, I actually really missed not speaking on Thursday, and there was a specific reason why I did, um, but I didn't realize it until Saturday, so let me explain. I had my grandkids on Wednesday night. Um, they are three and just turned one, and I was reminded about why I had children when I was so young, because it gets harder as you get older, um, and we had them overnight. Um, our three-year-old grandson did great. He only got up once during the night. Uh, he did think it was daylight because of the porch light, so I had explained to him that it was not daylight and not time to get up yet. So I ended up sleeping with him for a while in a twin bed, which let me tell you what, it actually worked out okay, but wouldn't recommend it for just anybody as you get into the older age groups. Um, our, the one-year-old, though, she was up every hour and a half or two hours during the night um, because she was in a strange uh and you know we had her in the pack and play so it wasn't in her regular bed um, and so fortunately for me it was just a quick matter of picking her up assuring her that she was safe and you know rocking her for about 10 minutes and then she'd go back down um, but I only got about four hours of sleep that night and then I had them all day on Thursday and so you might be wondering okay where is the inspiration or the encouragement coming from here um, but that's where balance comes in um, it did remind me of the importance of finding balance in our businesses. Um, you know, it's funny because a lot of times I've seen this meme pop across Facebook more than one time um, where entrepreneurs are the only group of people that'll work 90 hours a week just so that you don't have to work a 40 hour day job or nine to five job or work for somebody else. And that's probably true. You know, it's really easy for us to get very invested in our time um, throughout the day, you know, and, and just find that we're working our e-commerce business from the minute that we wake up until the time that we go to bed. Um, and if you have a nine to five job, then it's often you're working your e-commerce business and then you're working your nine to five job and then you're wor working your e-commerce business until you go to bed at night. Um, and, and a lot of times that's because we're trying to, you know, take those steps and learn and create the net profits that we need. Um, and so I, I don't want to minimize the importance of that because you need to be profitable at this business or else there wouldn't be any point in doing it. Um, but it is important to have balance too. It's important to have balance in, in both your family, with your family, um, in my case with my faith, um, with your friends. You know, there, it's really important for us to find balance in our life. And so that's why I was talking about why I wasn't here on Thursday. Um, for me, one of the real beauties of being a grandma is that I, I, I thought being a mom that I didn't think there was anything better. I just, I didn't think you could do anything better in life than be a mom. And then I got to be a grandma. And one of the things that I discovered about that was that it's not because you can send them home and it's not because somebody else is really in charge of them. I mean, those things are fine too sometimes, but it's because I really understood what it meant to be present for them. You know, I thought I knew that with my kids, but with my grandkids, I really understood what it means and continue to understand what it means to be present for them. And what I mean by that is like when my three-year-old talks, or three-year-old grandson talks with me, you know, I give him my full attention. I'm looking him in the eyes and I'm having a conversation with him in the same way that I would with any adult that I would speak with. Um, and that takes more energy than you know having it be where he's talking to me but I'm also working on my computer or, or I'm also paying it I'm also on the phone or I'm also doing the many other things that you know when you're uh, when you have kids that you have to do that to run your life I mean there's just no other way that you can survive if you don't do those things um, but what I was reminded about in that time frame was that you know, because we spend so much of our time being really focused on merch and the and Etsy as we're learning that and all the other things that we have here in our business, um, it's important to remember every day to take just that little bit of time to find some balance in your life. Because what I found for me was taking that time where I put other things aside and really focused on them 
when I came back to it, I was very refreshed. I had a clear mind again. I was able to see things in a new light, and I actually was able to get more things done. So if you're finding in your life right now with Merch and with Etsy and just your e-commerce business in general, if you're finding yourself feeling a little lost or out of sorts or in a rut or anything like that, you might want to consider that maybe it's important for you to actually take a step back, not like to stop the momentum from going, I don't mean that at all, but like take a little bit of time each day to, to make sure you're getting balance in your life. So for some that might mean making sure that, you know, for supper time, um, you, you, tr you shut everything down and you focus on your spouse and your kids. And, and keep everything else aside. And if you do that already, that's wonderful. Um, it might be that you have, you know, 10 minutes during the day where even if you have to, to lock yourself in a closet, <laughs> that you're spending 10 minutes just kind of taking a step back, taking a couple deep breaths, and just kind of, you know, letting yourself get recentered again. Um, I think it's really important because if we get out of balance in our, in our merch business, um, what we're going to find is that, or I think this is true anyway, what you're going to find is that everything gets to be a lot harder. And when you take that little bit of time to just kind of center yourself, take a step back, um, and just refresh, then you can come back to things with a clearer mind and a fresh perspective. And for me, that means that I actually get to move forward in an even faster way. Um, and so I, this is number two, Stephen. I'm going to apologize again for missing last Thursday. And just because I'm doing this on Monday, as long as you guys still want me to do them, I will still be here Thursday to give you some inspiration on Thursday. Um, but I hope that this is something that you can think of today and Monday and just, you know, maybe help with your week a little bit. Um, so anyway, that was what I wanted to say today, just a little bit of balance there. I look forward to seeing everybody on Thursday. I hope that you have an awesome week. Um, you know, for me, I start every day this way. You know, I say, thank you, God, for giving me another day. <laughs> thank you. Thank you that you allowed me to have another day on this earth. And so, you know, when you start your day like that, it's pretty easy for the rest of the week to just kind of flow in a pretty good way. But I hope that you all are having an awesome week. And don't remember that if you have questions or need help, you know, post those things in the group. There's a lot of really great people here that are here to help you out and to help you to be able to move forward. So that's all for today. I hope you all have a nice day, and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Take care. Bye-bye.